Okay, so this is a really hard day for me. I'm extremely emotional right now because it's my daughter's birthday and she's 15. And she's like the world's most selfless, amazing kid. She's got like the best parts of like both of me and her father in her and she's like super strong and selfless and amazing and this is the first year that I haven't been able to be with her on her birthday and it's literally killing me like I feel like the world's worst fucking mom on the planet right now it's like and I can't be with her because I don't have a vehicle you guys know my vehicle like the whole thing with that if you don't know go back and watch it and I'm like trying so hard to get life back on track right now and like do what I need to do to get back on our feet and whatever and it was just wasn't possible with the blizzard and everything to be with her today and she's an hour away and I just she just sent me a picture of her with her cake and her birthday wishes and everything and I just feel like so bad not being with her today we, we like did the most for Hayden and for London and it's now it's her birthday and like I just feel like it's not fair you know what I mean and all she wanted to do was like hang out with me and be with me and I couldn't spend like that much time on Christmas um because I had to get up really really early the next day and work at Hy-Vee and she was like the last thing she said to me when we were on Christmas because we were having so much fun was oh you can't stay you know and it's like I just feel so bad <sighs> and I'm trying so hard it's so frustrating it's so frustrating sorry I know this is like but this is like real, you know what I mean? I'm working like six to seven days a week, trying my hardest to like get out of the situation. And on top of that, there are so many like really good things that are happening, like really good things that people would kill for. But I'm so overwhelmed with everything and the lack of being able to do certain easy things like get to the fucking store or get to work or just do literally anything that isn't it just is, I've never been like this before it's crazy it's so and it's cold and there's like so many other like factors it's just like and I can't sleep I'm just like I'm overwhelmed I'm so overwhelmed and I just want the kids to be happy like I just want to be a present mom I want to get my girls back like they want to be with me you know they want to be with mom but like I just like can't like I can't do anything right now and I just feel so bad I'm missing out on all these like beautiful moments because what I can't like transportation like it's so fucking stupid and frustrating and I just like I feel like I'm trying so hard and nothing is happening fast enough you know like it's not happening fast enough and I'm not a patient person like I am not a patient person whatsoever but like on the flip side of that like time management is like a huge issue for me right now because like I get up in the morning I'm doing my routines you guys have been, been seeing us we've been doing like our health shots in our like workbook and stuff I've been super excited to go to work each day. I'm actually really good at my job, um, which is crazy because you guys know I'm not a social like person. How do I look crazy? I should have done this while I was cute, but you know, I had to like cry like an ugly whatever for you. But that's fine. Um, but no, I'm like, I do, I do really good there and I like grind it out and I, push and I want I'm like willing and ready to work and take on the hours like I closed last night I opened this morning like I want to go I want to make money I want to do it um but with the blizzard 
and like the freeze warning and stuff, it's been impossible. You know, like people were closing early or we've closed completely. Hold on one second. All right, I had to pause because like nobody wants to hear my measly ass, okay? All right, so I was saying I'm, I'm willing and ready and like excited to work each day and picking up shifts, whatever. I just feel like extremely overwhelmed with literally everything and it's starting to get to me. But on the flip side of everything, I'm working, I am making money, I'm actually making decent money. I'm just not patient. Um, my sleep is a huge issue. I hardly sleep at all. And then like when I get back from work, like I'm stuck in this room. So it's like my back hurts. I feel like a 90 year old fucking woman because like, what, what am I gonna do in here? I need to get up tomorrow morning at seven. I, I, I have decided I'm gonna get up and I'm gonna work out. I am gonna go do an hour of cardio and do my sit-ups and lunges and stuff like that, like I was doing when I was in Hayden. There's not like a weight room here, but they have like a couple of machines or whatever. But I need to push my body. I will feel so much better do just doing it and drink more water, all the things I'm already doing, like I know I'm gonna feel better because there's nothing to do in here. Like I'm fucking sick and tired of the TV. Like I'm not a per I'm I'm a person who creates content. I don't I don't really like to watch a lot of stuff. I don't have time. Like if you have time to watch a bunch of TV, you're not doing enough in your life. Like you're lazy. Like that's just the facts. Like get the fuck up and do something. And I feel lazy like laying here. It's like okay, like I just can't. I can't lay here and my back fucking hurts like a 90-year-old twit. Like get the fuck up and do something. And without a car, it's super impossible, you know, to be able to move around, especially in the cold. So I think working out will be good for me. And just setting the time. Like, I'm not fulfilling my commitments right now. Like, I'm trying. But it's like once you start and you realize all of the stuff you've been neglecting, you get easily overwhelmed. So you have to try not to let it get to you and flip the switch on it. It's like, okay, I'm self-aware that I have been extremely lazy. I have dropped the ball on many opportunities and now I'm not doing that. So instead of feeling sorry for myself, it's about flipping the switch and like correcting my wrongs. So now I'm answering the emails, I'm fulfilling my commitments with brands, I am creating content, I am recording on YouTube, I'm taking my like simple things, I'm going to work, I'm taking my morning shots, our health shots, doing like what I can do to try to like better myself because I have a lot of you know habits that aren't healthy like we all crunch on stuff right like tonight I I was sitting in the bathtub because my fucking back hurt bitch <laughs> like my back hurts so fucking bad I feel like I have scoliosis I'm like this <sighs> um but I was like I had a drink in the tub and I was like feeling guilty about it it's like no I fucking work a lot I work a lot and I, I have been consistently working a lot for a little bit you know like I've had like three or four jobs like trying to find my way now I feel like I'm on a path where I'm like consistently happy with what I'm doing like I know what I'm doing now and I'm happy with it so if I want to sit and have a fucking drink in the bathtub that's fine like why do I got to feel guilty about it like why do I got to be so hard on myself about shit it's okay to have a drink and like relax but my mind won't let me rest because I feel like I need to be doing something I need to be getting us out of this mess doing something whatever it is and I feel bad about it it's like no if there was a time to have a drink the time is right now like it's okay um but it's also like gross like you know what I mean like I don't know why sitting in by myself and have something about sitting by myself and having a drink is gross like it's, it's that weird time of being like completely sober and then buzzed where it's like, uh, like, hello. <laughs> like, you know, do you guys remember when I took myself out for that drink, quote unquote, that one time? And I was like, okay, I've never taken myself out for a drink ever in my life, in my 37 years of life. And I hated every fucking second of it. And I see people coming out, like I serve or whatever. And there, there are people who go out and they have like lunch with themselves they're on their phone. You can, that you can tell they're thoroughly enjoying their time with themselves. And I'm here like this, uh, like what, what, like, why am I here? I hate it. I hate you. I hate this. I hate it all. Like I hate everything. 
and I can't wait for it to be over. So that's that like point in the tub where I'm like, uh, and then like it kicks in. I'm like, okay, like let's listen to music. Like then I start to enjoy my own company. I think the problem is, is I need to enjoy myself more. Like what the fuck do I like about myself, bitch? Like what do you, you know what I mean? Like stop, shut up, shut the fuck up. Oh, I hate it. Like am I just now growing up? Like is this what adult adulting is like? Because I hate it. I hate everything. Um, but I need to be easier on myself because I really am doing a lot. And I realized that I, I need some help, um, like with some of my socials and stuff. And I just like, I don't want to be one of those people who just like pisses away opportunities. I just can't like something inside of me is like screaming for some kind of help. And, um, not only do I need a mental health help, bitch, I need help with some of my socials and directions and time management because I wake up in the morning and I answer emails and I work on stuff and I try to create stuff, but I want it to be authentic and real. You know, I don't want to just be putting shit out there. Like I've been working so hard on my stuff. Like I want it to be real and like good. And um, there's nobody in this area that like can really help me with that. And I just like, I need like a coach. Maybe I need a life coach. I don't know, but I don't know. I'm so happy Christmas is over. I'm so happy. I'm so happy because God, the month of December last year was the worst, worst month of my fucking life. Like the whole, my whole life ever. The month of December last year was the worst year of my life. Horrible. And I mean, I lost my grandma. I've had been through some crazy shit. Nothing tops um, last month. And I'm so thankful that I mentally made it out of it because you guys know I've been really struggling hard. Um, I'm actually kind of mad at myself now. I'm so like spontaneous. Like that's the thing about me. This is, this is the thing about me that's crazy. Um, also good, but crazy as well. Like I could, the, something could come up and I could be in Florida tomorrow. Like, I don't know. I don't know how I'm gonna feel tomorrow about stuff. Like I, I could get up and I could, there could be an opportunity and Josh and I could be like, okay, we're gonna go and we're, we'll go. Like, I don't know, like who cares? Like that's cool, right? Like we pivot, but it's also crazy um, because most people are like, you know, bound by a nine to five job and a mortgage and all the things. And like, that's just not the lifestyle for me. Um, but like the month of December really like threw me for a loop and is being as like pivotal as I am in life and being able to just make things work. I really hit rock bottom in all of the ways last month. And for me to mentally make it out of that is and coming out super strong. Like I am motivated and like a whole new person this month. And it's not because of my fucking health shots, bitch. It's something inside of my brain is pushing me. I think it's my grandma. And I, I do believe it's like the spirit world and whatever, because um, most people would have killed themselves 10 times. And I'm like, nope, the day is beautiful. Let's, let's look at the sun and let's take these health shots and let's fucking work out and let's drink our water and let's go to work. And I don't know who the fuck that is because it's not me usually like, but it is, it's me. And I'm thankful for that. There's some kind of flip of the switch, even like subconsciously. And I know for a fact that all of those things and all the things that continue to keep happening are life lessons that I'm going to be thankful for because it's what's setting me apart in life. It's what's making me stronger. And instead of sitting here and feeling sorry for my goddamn self, I'm going to use it as a learning, a learning time and I'm going to push off on it. And that's exactly how I'm going to look at it. And I have been looking at it, but it's like, when are we going to succeed? And I feel like we're doing that. But today was extra hard just because of the 97 days of no sleeping. Um, and I'm like getting, I'm micro napping. I get like an hour here, an hour there, 30 minutes here, but it's like never, never good. I'm never resting and I'm fucking tired. Like I have legit insomnia. It's not just something I'm like saying to the doctor to get medicine. No, I fucking can't sleep. I'm the lightest sleeper ever. Like I need quiet, I need dark, I need people to fucking like, I just, I just, I'm not doing well. And on top of all that, I'm super busy, but that's what's keeping me going. So I gotta like flip the switch on it 
now, now I'm just ranting, but I don't know. Today was hard because it's Jazzy's birthday and I just feel guilty. Um, but tomorrow's a new day and I'm very lucky to have such selfless children because I had, like, I had made a certain amount of tips today. And I, my phone's off, like, right now. Like, I can pay it tomorrow. The banks are closed today. But, like, and I'm thankful. I should be happy about that, right? Like, I can pay my bill. And it's crazy expensive. Um, but then it's her birthday. So, like, as a mom, naturally, when I, like, I'll go without. I want to give her what I have. And, like, she's like, no, mom, pay your phone bill. Like, I can wait until later this week. Like, it's okay. Like, it's cool. I'm happy you're getting on your feet. And, like, it made me feel really good and really bad at the same time. Because... I'm so proud of her for being selfless, but I'm so frustrated that I can't give her more, I can't do more, that I'm at this age and can't do it all, you know? And it's just like, stop. We're doing so much better than we were. We have made it out. You know, like two weeks ago, we were at the women's shelter. Today we're here. Today we're self-sufficient, even though it sucks, we're self-sufficient today. Today we're paying the bills. Some bills aren't getting paid, but we're not in the cold. Like, it's okay. Like, stop being so hard on yourself, bitch. Like, you're good. Just keep fucking pushing forward. That's all you can do. And it's so fucking hard. It's so hard. Like, all I want to do is bang my head against the wall. I'm like, <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, not really, okay? Not this head. Um, but it's fucking tough. And I was watching this thing about Chef Ram. Chef Ramsey had this interview like two two days ago I was watching and he was talking about how you know his brother was an addict and he had a horrible father and he was dirt poor and going through all these things and he's like the one thing that kept me going is the fact that I knew no one else was going to do it for me and I had to do it for my motherfucking self and that made me grind and I was like facts facts like we are not going to fall short we have got to rely on ourselves and our inner power and fucking go because I'm 37. I'm not getting any younger. It is fucking go time. It's go time right now. If I don't push my socials, if I don't push this gift, whatever gift, and some people are like, oh, you're not shit. No, well, I don't see you doing shit though. Like, what about you? You're not doing shit. You don't have shit. Like, shut up. Shut the fuck up, bitch, because you're not going to tell me. You know what I mean? Like, stop. I actually have a little bit of a platform and if I don't push it, I'll never know what it could have been. I don't want to be, you know, 60 years old. Like, oh, what, what if I would have answered that one email? I wonder where that could have went. So, like, you know how you sit and think about things like from the third grade and whatever teacher, like if I would have said this, if I would have done that, would it have been different? That's not going to be me, bitch. I'm going to do what it is now. Um, and we're not going to feel bad about what we haven't done either because we've done a lot and we've been through a lot. So shut the fuck up. Like we're just doing it. So on that note, I just felt compared to share the real moments with you. Like I promised I would do. I promised I would be authentic. And me like snotty and crying isn't something I want to like show the world. But like that's my gift, baby. You're welcome. So all right. On that note, I'm very thankful for my selfless children. I have raised them well somehow in this crazy mess. And I'm proud of that. So just keep pushing forward guys because I just can't even tell you how, how, how hard things have actually been for me um and and I'm seeing the light at the end of the tunnel here but like fuck you gotta be fucking strong out here like it's not um I wish I would have done these things a lot sooner in life because now I'm like you know pushing 40 years old and I feel like I'm in the same spot a 19 year old is, <laughs> you know what I mean? Like it's go time. <laughs>